my main problem was my back problem. And as a result of my back, my lower back being a problem, uh, I ended up slightly damaging my hamstring, which led me to come to physiotherapy. Uh, I've been here before when I injured my knee a couple of years ago and found the service good. So I've had, had, have had other forms of treatment and it was just masking my lower back problem, which was after I did my injury, the person who set, set me, uh, took me over actually said, I need to go to a physiotherapist because my back is the main problem for everything else that's happening with my body. Nothing in terms of quality, still, I, I, I had injured my knee, um, I came here and the physio who helped me then gave me exercises to do and within a very short period of time I was, I'd recovered and I touch wood, I haven't had any other problems with my knee since then. Uh, it entailed a programme of me to go away and exercise and strengthen up, well, first of all release my back because was, it was tense and then slowly but surely build up the strength in and around that area so that my muscles worked in the right order when I was moving. How do you feel now? Oh, 100% better. 100 better. No problems at all. I, I'm pain free, which was when I first came here, that was my my main goal was to be pain free. Mm. Uh, I did sort of get to a stage and I felt, uh, being the age I'm at, that it was something that was inevitable and I just have to learn to deal with it. It took about two or three weeks um, and slowly I started to feel my back opening up. Mm -hmm. and the tension was spreading from my lower back into my glutes and I and that it was at that point then is when I, I felt this is starting to work because mm. the pain it wasn't a pain of oh, I'm hurting it was a pain of what I used to get from training so mm. it was a it was a nice <laughs> discomfort which in my mind I knew what that meant my muscles around the area were starting to strengthened, which was taking actual pain away from my lower back. I just felt relieved because I just felt that everything that I've been trying up to that point wasn't really working, it was masking it. Mm. And I actually started to think, actually, this is what I needed all from, from the start, really. And at that point then, that's just, that really motivated me to carry on and keep going and do the extra bits. I have this ambition of playing football for the next five, ten years, hopefully, with the aim of, of playing for the England over 50s. Um, that's my main goal. And it was a case of I was playing football on a Saturday and I was still hurting by, still by the Tuesday. And mm. it got to a point where I, I just said to myself, I've got to do something about this. Mm. I cannot play football and then not be able to walk properly for three or four days because that just was not going to be sustainable no. wasn't going to be able to do that for another five six years you know I still feel a bit tight at times but then when I get home I go through all my stretches again and my exercises and within 12 hours after that so by the morning it's though I've not played I've recovered that quickly now and you I'm, still feel that you're playing as hard yeah as definitely definitely yeah. yeah I just feel like I can do a lot more now that feeling of Actually, you can still do it. Mm. You haven't got to give up. Because mm -mm. some of my friends are saying to me, come on, it's about time you give it up now. And I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to carry on. And it was coming here, which was then gave me that, that belief I could still do it. Mm. And carry on. Very welcoming. Very friendly. Just a, a, a nice place to come. I never felt that. No, there's no, there was nothing negative about it at all. Very welcoming, having always having a chat, you know, whoever it was. There's a number of people that worked at the desk at the, mm. the time I've come here. Always really friendly, always wanting to interested in what I was up to. Just then, yeah. 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 yeah, basketball hoops and everything. Yeah, exactly that sort of stuff. <laughs> yep. So I've signed up to do some Pilates mm. to continue with the the strengthening and the flexibility that I want to continue to improve on. Mm -hmm. That's always been a weakness of my flexibility, especially around the hamstrings, and I want to improve that. Uh, I've also signed up for the two extra sessions with, with yourself, mm -hmm. just to see how far I can push myself and see if I can reach even 
higher levels, you know. <laughs> Who knows? Over yeah. 60s could be England over 60s. Could be. There is there. Is there. Is there. <laughs> Come see you guys. <laughs> Easy enough. Yeah. <laughs> um, if I was to give them advice, I'd, I'd start with the basic stretches that I started with. Mm. And that, I'd, like, like I said, I've said to you before, I, I did a couple of them with my friends. And they were stunned with how quickly they cramped. And they, they, they see themselves as generally fit people as well. Mm. And just the two simple exercises that I started with, that I can do quite easy now, they were cramping after two or three seconds, just like I was at the start. Mm. And somebody who didn't know that I was going to physio, sort of grabbed my back of my leg the other day, and went, cool, your, your, your hamstrings are tight, they're, they're nice and solid now. So yeah, I've been doing some exercises, you know, yeah, notices. So it's even, true, isn't it? yeah, definitely, and they're like, oh, right. So yeah, I think one of my other friends is, is changing his, his tact. I'm mm. trying to convince him to come and see you guys, because I think it would be good for him, because he has problems with his back as well. Mm. The result. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much result based and prepared to do what I need to do to get the results I want to get. Mm. And the program was not a chore at all. It wasn't. It wasn't difficult. It wasn't. It wasn't hard to think about doing it mm. and motivate myself to do it. It was just. It quickly became something that I had in my life, mm. part of my daily routine. Mm. Yeah, it's not a day. I wake up. That's the first thing I do. It's, it's part of my daily routine now. And you do need to, you do, I, I need to feel that something's happening. Mm. And um, when I first started just doing the stretches, when I first started doing that, there was periods of the day where, oh, I'm not, I'm not hurting, I'm not walking funny. Ah, oh, things are starting to open up. And then mm. week by week, and like I said, I think it must have been about the third or fourth week, then it started to move. And I was like, here we go, this is, this is what is now, nice. yeah, getting the results I want. And hence why. I've come back, I've kept coming back, and I've continued to carry on. The range of movements outside of my back. So I was able to do different things throughout the, the sessions that I didn't think I was going to be able to do and I didn't ever think about. And I just found it interesting that the different types of movements were quite, yeah, it was just interesting. I, I, I liked it. I liked the. I like the um, the challenge of trying to move in a way that is not natural to me, but it's very beneficial because it gives gives me a bigger range of movement, which is what I like. I said my flexibility has always been something that's always been a weakness of mine, mm. but being able to do these other movements in and around yeah. Yeah. definitely helps.